Why do links scream at each other? I'm Shelby, a wild animal biologist who loves answering your animal questions. And with International Lynx Day right around the corner, what better time to dive into the incredible world of the lynx? So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. There are four living species of lynx. We have the Canadian lynx, which happens to also be the largest species of lynx, the Eurasian lynx, the Iberian lynx, and the bobcat, which is the smallest species of lynx. While these guys are found all over the world and have specialist adaptations for where they live, like those who live in the snowier regions, have the bigger paws to act like snowshoes, all lynx have a black tuft of hair on the tips of their ears. It's still not exactly proven as to what the benefit of this tuft of hair does for the lynx. Apart from most scientists agreeing that it has something to do with their sense of hearing. Not only are lynx good climbers, but they're also reasonably good swimmers as well. However, lynx are solitary, which leads us to lynx screaming to each other. While lynx are definitely beautiful animals, they can make some pretty weird noises. In fact, they make a variety of similar sounds to that of Maui and other house cats. Mewing, yowling, purring, hissing, spitting. Yeah, the whole assortment. And as lynx are solitary, the main time you would see them or hear them shouting at each other is during breeding season. This could be males asserting their dominance over each other, or a female letting a male know she's not interested. But screaming isn't the only way that lynx communicate with each other. They also scent mark, use facial expressions, and even different ear positions to communicate with other lynx. Lynx are incredible animals, and I loved exploring why the Iberian lynx is like a real life Pokemon. To keep your adventure going and to continue celebrating International Lynx Day, check out that video right here. Go and click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching.